W out here. Gonna have some monkey shining. Gonna shine up the monkey guys. This is uh, gonna be PG-13. Monkey shines, however, you know, perfectly safe with work, I guess, unless your work doesn't like monkey guns. I got some stuff, man. Me and Painful 13 are, are in a race to see how how shiny we can make our monkey guns, how much jewelry we can hang on them. <laughs> I am really enjoying it, man. The last time I had this much fun, I was tinkering with my Crosby 2240, taking a $50 gun, turning it into a $350 gun. So now I got a carbine that used to sell for about 200 bucks, right? I've probably got that <laughs> much stuff laying here in front of me. Ridiculous. Oh, I'm not doing real good on the unboxing for some reason here. I've lost my unboxing skills. I say it isn't so. Oh. Okay, what we're looking at, my friends, is a 3X UTG magnifier. Now let me reach out a little more accurately with the holo. Okay. And there's another box over here. We'll get into that in a minute. That'll be a separate video because that's very exciting. I want to do a nice video for this. I want to do a nice video for this. We don't want to do two videos. I'm going to do two. I'm not going to do one video on all of them. But it's a nice box, man. UTG. They do not scrimp, though, on the packing. They give you a nice gold, shiny cardboard box with an official UTG lens wiping cloth. Oh, my gosh. I'll have to get a uh, tactical pouch just for that. You get some tools. Yay. O-rings, all kinds of crap. Oh, my God. Am I going to have to read instructions? Oh, please don't make me read instructions. And we've got a riser, and we've got a what they call maximum strength, quick disconnect base. Doo -doo. It's got a cam lock on it, guys. So, theoretically, you could flop this thing off and flop something else on, like night vision, perhaps? Mm -hmm. Now, what I wanted to see, really, main purpose of me having the gun out here this moment is with the rail that's pretty short on the TS. Oh my god, he didn't safety check this weapon. It could go off at any moment harming someone on YouTube. Okay, so the deal is you can slap this puppy on and what I wanted to see really was could you per perhaps have a backup sight in between the two of them. And I would think, yeah, this has got some nubs on it that I would have to grind down, to grind the nubs. Those are for mounting the iron sights, guys, that come with the uh, 995 stock. So, now, even if I were to slap this thing up here, yep, see, you got this big nub. So without modifying this rail, about gnawing away at it with a file, there will be no way to mount it because this thing is too huge. But if you had a smaller deal and you could put it up further, you could easily mount this. Let's just take a quick look at this. This is a pretty very nice. Very nice. Let's if I can get my damn fingers in there. Oh! Oh! Whew, boy, that brings back high school memories. Okay. Oh, looky. It's got a dust cover. Now, how is that exactly going to work out? Let's see. If you had this thing like right up against here, okay, time to flip my dust cover. Hmm. Hmm. So really, you're gonna want this much space at least. And as you can see, that'd be a nice place for a flip-up backup site. This thing would probably be about right, probably be about right here, because it's up, you know, about a half inch. And so here it is peering through your through your what's it at the who's it before you shoots it and you want to be able to flip up your cap and I really recommend having a flip up backup site so you can co-witness in case your batteries die or some other malfunction occurs so if you're running a front post site like that and a backup site like that your deal would be about like that now 
you look at where your cheek weld is, wow. Talk about a black eye. You want a black eye? Just stick your eyeball right up on that thing. You'd have to be way back on the stock to avoid eye slap. If you have not experienced eye slap, uh, just let me tell you, it'll leave a shiner. You will look like a raccoon for a while. Okay, so, beautiful thing. Let's, let's look at the tropical quality of this thing. Is it tropical? Is it going to make the woods look tropical? Oops, I think I'm looking through the wrong damn end. Is it making it bigger yet? Are we big yet? Where the heck? Where the heck are we looking? I can't see anything. I'm gonna look through it. Oh yeah. Should should work at that range. You should be able to everything should look nice and big. Here we go. I just wasn't holding holding her right. I didn't have it. Cannabowitz. Could be this lens too. Nice clear optics. Wow. Very little light loss. Uh, sturdy, rugged, feeling aluminum body on it. Nice. Got rubbery end caps, which I imagine are removable. So you can slap it on there. It's got a front dial-y thing, so you can adjust it so you're seeing this nice and crisp, and you're seeing this nice and everything. It's got nice. It's very nice. See, it's got an eye diopter thingy and it's got this thing so anyway very nice this is what it looks like without the rubbery stuff all over it yeah man see this makes everything very very small we're gonna look at things very 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 nice up close small you can use as a microscope you were doing some surgery perhaps you could uh, strap this onto your eye with some duct tape get out your razor knife and do an appendectomy can't really get it to do what I want with the camera. Sorry guys. Thought I might be able to demo that. Don't think so. Really don't think that's gonna do anything. Maybe. Oh, oh, oh. Close. That's with magnification. That's without magnification. Is it really 3x? Is that green clump three times bigger? Yep. Pretty cool, huh? So, obviously, some issues with mounting that on such a short rail, such a long holo site. So, what are we going to do about that, gentlemen? I'm going to tell you something about this box in a minute, man. It's going to solve my problem. And it's going to add some shine on the monkey gun. It's going to shine up the monkey. Stand by.